Hello there world, I'm the Talking Moss Liam and today I wanted to show you how to quickly and easily back up your save file of Elden Ring on PC. You can use this for all kinds of stuff like to safely try and see what happens if you kill an NPC for example, but my main use for this is to make a PvP build with the character of my current save file, back that up as well and then reload the older backup to make another character. I realize a lot of you might already know how to do this, but I got asked by one of my subscribers to do a video like this, so who am I to say no to that? So the first thing you gotta do is locate the folder that holds the save file used by the game. And if you haven't changed anything in the settings of Steam, this folder will be located on your local hard drive under Users and then App Data. If you can't see the App Data folder, go up to the View tab of your Explorer and check Show Hidden Objects. In the App Data folder, you go into Roaming and here you should find a folder named Elden Ring and in that there will be a folder with a long number that contains a .sl2 file and this is your save file. The sl2.bak and vdf are files necessary for Steam to be able to back up your save to their cloud. But whenever we manually paste an older save backup in here, we have to delete those as I'll show you in a second. So I recommend you make a link to the folder that contains your current save file anywhere you like, like I did here, and also create a new folder where you can put your save backup into. And now all you have to do is right click copy the save file itself and paste it into the new folder. From here you can do anything you like in the game and if at any point you want to revert back to your old save file, simply copy it, overwrite the current save file in the folder we located earlier and then delete the .sl2.bak and .vdf before restarting the game. Just so Steam doesn't get all confused. As far as I can tell there's absolutely no risk when doing this, the game's anti-cheat engine doesn't mind you doing this at all. So on PC it really is that easy. If you want to back up a save file on console, you are going to need an external hard drive. The option to back up save data is usually hidden somewhere in the console settings. Obviously this is a quick and easy way to make a backup of a single save, but say you're like me and like having multiple different PvP builds at the ready. For that you can also copy or duplicate an individual saved character. Each Elden Ring save file contains a possible 10 slots for you to start a new character in and these slots are what you choose from from the load menu in game. Just backing up the save file like we did just now backs up all those slots whether empty or not since they are all contained in that single file. But there are multiple programs available on Nexus mods that let you copy or transfer individual save slots and they all work pretty much the same. I use this one right here that I have to admit I can't remember where I got it. If anyone knows maybe help me out in the comments. But what you can do in those programs is to choose a source save file like say in this case let's use the one that contains my frenzied acolyte pvp build that I just did a video on and then choose a destination save file. So maybe I wanna copy it over to the save file that contains all my rune level 137 characters because I wanna level it up some more. So once we chose the right files, we now have to choose the character slots of the character we want to copy and also a slot that we want to copy it to. And once we've done all that, we simply hit copy or whatever else it says in the program of your choice. And just in case your destination file was the one in the actual save file folder the game uses, once again, don't forget to delete the BAK and CDF files there. Now I haven't personally had any problems with the game when doing this, but it should also be said that whenever you use a third party program like that to fiddle with a game's data, you might be vulnerable to being banned from online play. Like I said, I haven't experienced anything like this until now, but I can and will not give you a guarantee that this will be the case for you or even stay the case for me. So proceed at your own risk here. And there's also one more thing I want to say and it's probably the most important for this kind of thing since we already mentioned Nexus mods. Obviously you can go through the game yourself, collect all the weapons, spells and so on, spend hours farming runes and the rare armors with an abysmal drop rate so you can make yourself a mule character that you can then back up and then make builds from. But there are of course also mule character save files pre-made and available for download on the Nexus as well. And this is where I want to advise you to be very cautious of what you download there. So apart from the fact that I would highly encourage you to first play the game for yourself at least a couple of times before even thinking about using someone else's save, just because Elden Ring's a great game and it deserves it, 
Also, always make sure to be offline when you put the downloaded save into your game's save file folder and load it up for the first time. I even just outright disconnect my ethernet cable before doing this, which is probably a little overkill, but this way nothing can happen and you can always delete it, should you find something troublesome. Obviously all items that have been removed from the game by the developers but have been added back in by modders are a red flag if you wanna play online and will likely get you banned. But a lot of these mules you find on the Nexus also contain like 999 of all boss remembrances and stuff like that. And I usually get very suspicious when I see something like that. Now I'm not a programmer so I really have no idea how duplicate item detection works in the code of the game or if it's even a thing at all, but to me it would make a lot of sense for the game to look at your save file and see that number of remembrances and know that you should not be able to have that many. Sure they could have been dropped and duped by two players who traded items and then reloaded all the backups for hours on end, but I decided that I'm not willing to take that risk. And the same is true for the Ancient Dragon Smithing Stones and Samba Smithing Stones. Like the lower upgrade level stones you can already infinitely buy in game, so that's not a problem, but the ancient ones are again limited in the number you can obtain each cycle. There's also stuff like certain quest items that you can only get once each playthrough and so on. So once more you can do whatever you like with your game and there's of course a chance that none of this matters to the game's code, but I just wanted to mention the risk of banning when handling these mule save files, so maybe just go for one that doesn't have these problematic items and just go get them in the game yourself before backing up the save once more to make your own mule backup. It really doesn't take that long and I mean playing Elden Ring is damn fun anyway. So that's it for our overview of save file management in Elden Ring. Thanks a lot for watching, have a wonderful day and see you very soon!